Well howdy folks! And welcome back to another kinda decent tutorial about how I apply D-Force to clothing. Which I do to pretty much all my clothes. Seriously, like all, all the time, ever. I already have some random clothes on, so let's jump into it. First, if it's not already, you need to apply D-Force to the clothing. So, select the clothing and then go to edit in the menu bar. Select Object, Geometry, and add D-Force Modifier Dynamic Surface. Next, we need to attach a weight map. From the menu, select Create, and then scroll down and select New D-Force Modifier Weight Node. The new node is now a child of the clothing item. Select it. Now go to the Tools menu and select your Node Weight Map Brush. On the right, in the Tools Settings panel, you can select the Influence Weight Map. If there's not one then you can click the Add New button to the right above, which I will have to do for the shorts, next. If for some reason a weight map won't apply then it's probably because there isn't D-Force applied to the clothing. You can paint how much, or little, influence there is by holding down the left mouse button or hold control and the left mouse button to subtract. Play with the tool settings to adjust size and influence of the brush. Now I'm going to adjust my clothes to make sure nothing weird is happening and there is no poke through. I turn off the mesh smoothing to find any trouble spots. I then use the clothing morphs to adjust as needed. Since we are de-forcing it, I will give it plenty of room to make sure it's not touching my body in any way. Almost forgot. Make sure to freeze all other items simulations. For instance, I select my shorts, go to Parameters and General to find the Simulation tab. I then click the Freeze Simulation tab to On. Make sure it says On. Now, find your Simulation Settings panel and open it up. I won't go through all the settings here, just pause and copy mine if needed. But, do make sure to have start bones from memorized pose, off. And the duration set to current frame. Turn the item's mesh smoothing back on and run a test simulation. You can reset the simulation by hitting the clear button in the upper right hand corner or go to edit in the menu, scroll to object, geometry, and clear selected objects. This will clear the simulation from the one selected item only, as opposed to the clear button in the simulation panel will clear all simulated items in the scene. We can now adjust our clothing surface settings. Select your clothing item and then the surfaces panel tab. Scroll to the bottom and find the simulation settings. The default is good for most clothing items so I will only make a couple changes. Again, I won't go through all these settings, just follow along and do what I do to get these results. These are my standard default changes for clothing. Friction to 0.2. Collision offset to 0.06. And make sure both the velocity settings are zero. I run another test simulation and then clear the selected item.
Here's what's missing. Go back to the surface simulation settings. Find the contraction and expansion slider. I usually set this to about 90 to 92. Simulate again, and nice and tight. Of course if you don't want the contraction effect then leave this setting alone. But really, who wants not this setting? If everything looks good, we now have to check for any poke through issues. But first I will make sure to set the clothing simulation setting to freeze so I don't accidentally simulate it again later. Next, check the clothing for any poke through. Then turn off the clothing mesh smoothing and check again. Everything looks good, except the nipples. Always the damn nipples. Here's three ways to fix this, almost always, nipple issue. 1. With the clothing selected, go to the parameters settings. Right click on the tab and check the show hidden properties option under preferences. In the search bar type in nip. This should bring up a nipple setting that you can manually adjust. If not, it's probably because your character has no nipples applied. Apply just a tiny bit of nipple to the character and this setting should come up. 2. Use the Mesh Grabber. If you don't have this life-changing tool, then go to the DAS Marketplace and download it. If you do have it then you know you can just manually manipulate the clothing mesh as desired. Seriously, go get the add-on. You can go up to Edit in the menu. Go Object, Geometry, and then add a Push Modifier. Set it to something like 0.0, 1, or 2. Just remember to set it back to 0 before ever simulating again. just rinse and repeat with the shorts. Oh, and if for some reason the clothing doesn't have any, or the right adjustments, there are add-ons you can buy to apply to any clothing. Or you can use the scale settings to see if that works. Sometimes it does, sometimes not. There you go. That's pretty much the basics. But here's a little extra tip. Besides paint mapping to influence how much something will simulate, you can also go to Geometry Editor in your tool settings. You can select any different amount of mesh area and create a new surface out of it. You can not only change that specific area's looks, but also its simulation settings. Just select desired mesh area, right-click and go to geometry assignment, and then create new surface from selected. In the surfaces settings, make sure the newly created surface is iray, then copy and paste the clothing settings to the new surface area. But first you will have to reapply D4 settings to the clothes. That's a pain to explain, just watch what I do in the video.
Welp, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.